We will look at the data validation dialog box now. As I had mentioned before, the data validation is available under the data tab. And here under data tools, you have data validation. Pull it down, you have three options. The first is data validation. The second is circle invalid data. The third is clear validation circles. First, let us take a look at the data validation. Click on it and this is your data validation dialog box. So on this dialog box, you have three tabs. The first is settings. This is where you configure the type of data that you want to validate. And we'll look into this. Next is the input message and the error alert. The input message is kind of like a reminder. So when a user goes into a specific cell that is being validated, you can put a message here and the user will actually see what it means. I mean, what kind of validation is in place for that particular cell. And the error alert, so message that you put here will be displayed when the user enters invalid data. And the settings is where you pick the type of validation that you want to apply. Now this is uh, data validation. And now you also have two other things. That is circle invalid data and your clear validation circle. Let me demo this for you. I'll go to the sample data tab here. So have data. So I already applied uh, data validation here and the data validation is the for the whole numbers between 10 and 99 so if I go to data validation settings you will see you know whole number between 10 and 99 but see I might be having numbers that are not in that particular range so for example one you know definitely that's out of that particular range so using this option circle invalid data when you click on that what you see is you know nicely circle cells so it's easy for you to identify the cells that do not meet the criteria now you must be wondering how did this 100 get in place in the first place how did the six get there because you cannot enter six there so let's say if i try to enter six here i get an error so this helps when you apply data validation to existing data that means i had this particular data set or table and then apply data validation once you apply but you don't know which cells meet or which cells don't meet your criteria so that's where you know this particular option really helps and the last one which is just clear click on it they are gone click here go to this option now you see the circles, that means all these uh, cells have invalid data that don't meet the validation that we put in place. And the last one is clear the validation circles. Let us take a quick look at uh, the input message and this one, error alert. As I said, the input, input message helps you kind of give a reminder to the user so here we are using 10 and 99 so we will say title you can give any title you want we'll say you know reminder and for error message i'll say okay now if i try see first of all as I go and click on any cell, I get this particular reminder because this is coming from our input message. This is the exact thing that's being displayed here. Now, when you enter something that doesn't meet the criteria, you get this message, please enter a value between 10 and 99. And that is coming from the error alert message that we entered. Well, uh, that's it. I just wanted to give a quick uh, overview of the data validation dialog box. Go over these options. Now we will you know, dive deep into 
the options that we have for data validation in terms of you know the type of validation we can put in place okay that's it in this video